Hey everyone, it's Cade with Leap. Today I'll show you how to assemble your Leap Habitat. Before getting started, you'll want to make sure you have a Phillips screwdriver and a hammer. This will make the assembly process a breeze. Now it's time to unbox your habitat. As unboxing, make sure you have all the components listed on the instructions. Some parts may be tucked away inside the cardboard inserts, so be sure to check every one before tossing them to the side. The items you will need are the following. Adhesive roll, primer wipe, bottom door, top door, bottom panel, rivets, sheet metal screws, machine screws, alignment pin, bottom bar assembly, top assembly, retention tray, and last, but certainly not least, the main panel and door hinge rod. After making sure you have all the components and have them laid out, it's time to start the assembly of your habitat. The first step will be folding the main panel. To do so, we recommend doing that over the edge of a table. Simply line up the seam and triangular cutout on the edge of the table and fold downward. Make sure you have the black side facing up. After creasing both seams, you'll need your crossbar and two machine screws. These are the screws without the points. Take your main panel and fold up the sides. You'll place the crossbar into the indent on the metal frame. Please note, the rounded part of the crossbar fits into the rounded indent on the main panel. While holding the crossbar in place, insert the machine screws into both sides and tighten with your Phillips screwdriver. It is now time to install the bottom panel. For this step, grab the bottom panel, the rivets, and your hammer. After doing so, turn your habitat upside down and fold the three edges over. Make sure you give them a good crease as this will make installation for the bottom panel easier. When installing the bottom panel, I like to start with the back of the habitat. To start, lay the habitat on its back and insert three rivets under the lower flap. Now, place the bottom panel on top, line it up, and insert three more rivets to hold it in place. You can now take your hammer and hit the rivets to make sure they are pinched tightly. Please note, you will not need to apply an extreme amount of force. Just give it enough of a tap that they clamp into place. Now that those three rivets are installed, stand the habitat up and continue installing the rest of the rivets securing the bottom panel. Next, we'll install the bottom bar assembly. Locate and grab your lower bar assembly, a couple sheet metal screws, and your Phillips screwdriver. After doing so, lay the habitat on its back Line up the bottom bar assembly to the corners of the main panel as well as the edge of the bottom panel. When aligned, apply slight pressure until it is in place. Now that it is in place, insert the sheet metal screws into both sides. Stand the habitat upright when finished. Installing the top of your habitat is the next step. Grab your top assembly, three sheet metal screws, your screwdriver and hammer. Carefully align the top assembly with the main panel, making sure the back corners of the main panel insert fully into the channel of the top assembly before applying pressure. Sometimes that can be out of place, making it challenging to seat the top assembly. After ensuring the back corners are aligned, work your way to the front. If seated properly, the front inserts of the top assembly will align perfectly with the inserts of the main panel. After double checking and making sure all the edges are seated in the channel and the front inserts are aligned, you can use your hammer to fully seat the front of the top assembly on the main panel if needed. Now, 
Use the three sheet metal screws in your screwdriver to make sure the top assembly stays in place. After installing the top assembly, grab your Lyman pin and hammer. We'll now be inserting this into the bottom front right corner of your habitat. To do so, flip your habitat over and insert the alignment pin into the small hole with the textured side up. Use your hammer to tap it into place. The habitat is now assembled and we'll move on to installing the retention tray. After locating the retention tray, lay it flat on the table and begin folding all four edges towards the center. Be mindful that you're folding along the seam and creating a tight crease. After folding the edges, you'll now fold the corners inwards, similar to an origami fold. After folding all corners, we'll install the adhesive roll. This will be installed on the outside of the retention tray. You will want to start the adhesive roll a half inch away from the front edge, making sure to work your way around the side to the back and stop a half inch away from the front of the other side of the tray. While installing, make sure the adhesive roll is as straight and as close to the top of the retention tray as possible. This will make the habitat go together a little easier and keep it looking clean. When you work your way around the tray, make sure to stop the adhesive about a half inch away from the front panel of the opposite side of which you start it. After you finish, grab your primer wipe, open it, and wipe down the inside of the habitat where the tray will sit and adhere to. After letting it dry for a minute, insert the retention tray into the habitat at an angle. It is easiest to drop the front down first so the front panel pops out the habitat. After inserting, make sure the retention tray is pushed all the way down and centered in your leaf habitat. This will align the rivet holes, making the rest of the assembly easier. When satisfied with the position of your retention tray, you can start peeling the adhesive tape and adhering it to the side panel of your habitat. It is best to do one side at a time, making sure the tray is aligned and seated properly as you move along. When finished, you'll want to go back and apply pressure to the outer wall of the habitat and the retention tray, making sure the adhesive is fully adhered to the inside of the habitat, creating a strong bond. Next, we'll grab the remaining rivets and install them so the retention tray is fully secured in place. To do so, Fold the corners of the retention tray to the side of the habitat and install the rivet. After the rivet is installed, align the rivet on the outside of the habitat and apply pressure. You will do this with all four corners of the retention tray as well as the back center. When finished, you can lay your habitat on its side and back and use your hammer to ensure the rivets are secure. The only step left is installing the two doors. The easiest way to do this is by lying the habitat on its back. You can now align the top door and use the hinges to hold it in place. Next, position the bottom door. The lower door will sandwich the front of the retention tray in place. When aligned, insert the door hinge rod from the top of the habitat down, making sure it slides into both doors. After doing so, remove the protective covers from your top door. If you have any questions about your leaf habitat, check out leafhabitats.com and click the support tab at the top of the screen. From there, you can check out our frequently asked questions tab or contact support directly. Feel free to subscribe for more leaf videos. Now go enjoy your leaf habitat.